Hello everybody. I woke up this morning and decided to do something kind of ridiculous. I'm going to do a video blog for NaNoWriMo. <laughs> Never done that before, but why not, right? Sounds kind of fun. So um, you probably already know this, but you might not know it. NaNoWriMo is National Novel Writing Month, and it's always in November, 30 days of writing as fast as you can, trying to write a whole book. I have lots of ideas, but I decided to work on my nonfiction book, 10 Things You Need to Know Before You Start Self-Publishing, because I want to get that out before the end of the year. Have I actually started working on it yet today? No, no, I actually haven't. Um, John, however, has already gotten in like 800 and some words, and um, yeah, so <laughs> I have to at least get something done. But this is kind of my normal November 1st, kind of thinking and planning and thinking and yeah. I need to actually write though. However, I do have one small good reason for not having actually written yet, because my friend Kathleen and I are going to try to learn dictation this month. So I'm gonna try not to actually type that much of my book. I'm gonna to try to dictate it. Technically, um, it's called transcribing because I'm going to speak into a, a voice recorder so that I'm not thinking about watching all the little words show up on the screen and then go, oh, that's, what, that's not what I said. Wait, wait, that's not what I meant to, you know, it's sort of like autocorrect going crazy. So anyway, so I'm going to do transcription, which is me having to stop and think about what I want to say and saying, welcome to 10 things you need to know about self-publishing, period and then try to keep on going like that. So anyway, got a whole month. Kathleen and I are gonna train ourselves, so that'll be fun. So you will hear more about that because I just told you that I'm doing a video blog, which means I really kinda need to do it. And um, I'm sure I probably won't do it every single day, but um, if I can get you know 15 or 20 blogs up in the 30 days of November, well, that would be quite fun, right? So um, that means I have to think of something to tell you every day. So today I'm very, very, very excited. For the very first time ever, I entered the Rita Awards, which as I tell people is sort of like the Oscars for romance novels. Um, so I entered Love at the Fluffy Fold because I was waiting for me to write a book that I thought was a genuinely good book, worthy of, you know, awards or accolades or attention or whatever. And um, this definitely is my best book ever. So if you don't remember, it just came out in August and it's available everywhere, so you can buy it anywhere you want. And it's a sweet romance set in a small town. So it doesn't have blatant sex. I don't think it has any sex in this one. And um, anyway, this whole series is going to be one where there's no swear words and no sex. So this will be my sweet romance series. Slightly different, only a little bit different from uh, the other books where, see, Unexpected Superhero, the married couple has sex. But it's not like really long scenes or anything. And in Little Miss Lovesick and the superhero books, um, people say damn and shit and hell, um, which doesn't bother some people, it doesn't really bother me, um, but it bothers other people. So I'm writing kind of a few different things for different kinds of readers. So you can decide what kinds of stuff that you would like to read, if you'd like to read any of mine. Um, the other exciting thing is that um, I am starting a podcast, which is part of the reason I woke up this morning and said, you know, you said you should start practicing and like do a bunch of videos and get yourself all like, ooh, this is so easy because the podcasting is going to be kind of a big thing. Um, instead of doing one a week, which is what most normal people do, I'm actually going to do three a week. Um, there'll be two really short ones and one medium length one. Because one of the things that some of my writer friends are telling me, because it's a podcast on writing, was that they just don't have time for an hour uh, podcast. They, there's nothing they do that takes them an hour that they can be listening to something at the same time. So I'm going to have like a 10 to 15 minute one on Sundays that's encouraging words and a like 15 to 20 minute, I don't know, 10 to 20 minute one on Mondays that will be teaching on some kind of writing topic um, that will be for mostly a little bit beginners, a little bit intermediate, and I all occasionally probably have something for more advanced writers. It kind of depends. I'm still working on, I have so many topics. I have like enough topics for at least a year's worth of podcasting, so that's great. And then on Wednesdays, there'll be like a 
25 to 40 minutes, so basically I'm saying 30 minute, but I don't know exactly, um, interview with a writer or somebody who's in writing and publishing the world. Or, um, so I have um, really interesting, fun plans for my very first interview is being recorded in two weeks, yay! And it's gonna be too, totally fun and you're going to love it. And I can't wait for you to see it and hear it, so. And then I just have to figure out when the podcast actually starts. So probably December or January at the latest. Um, there's stuff that needs to be done, but I'm getting really close. So I'm excited. Yay. And I'm feeling very excited and creative about everything today because I'm wearing my creativity shirt, which is this one. It says, be creative and make cool stuff. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? And now that I moved away and you can see behind me, yes. That is my present from John the other day. It was a surprise present. It's very awesome. I haven't figured out exactly what his name is yet because I, I have kind of a lot of teddy bears and stuffed animals that I've had to name. And so coming up with a new name after a while, you're like, oh, what good name? And I'm not going to name him Frank. So, <laughs> so I've been trying to think of something and I'm kind of maybe going to possibly go with Boo Bear, B-U from the beginning of our last name. So B-U hyphen bear. So I'm not sure because I have a stuffed monkey named Bobo. So anyway, we'll see. I don't know, but it's fun. And I love him and he is so soft and squishy. <laughs> so thank you, John. I really, really, really love him. Um, that's it. I'm going to try to keep these video blogs short and you'll have to tell me, you have to promise to tell me either you're not watching them and I will stop or it's just boring, which I kind of don't think that they will be because, you know, I'm odd enough to be entertaining. So, <laughs> um, but you need to let me know because if you like them, I'll keep doing them. And if you're like, I just don't care or I would rather read or they're too long, you just need to let me know. Um, I think that is everything that I wrote down that I wanted to tell you. So I'll have to think of something new tomorrow, like guess how many words I dictated on day one of NaNoWriMo, even though at uh, 4.30 p.m. on Monday, or this isn't Monday, just because it's the first doesn't make it Monday. What day is it? It's Wednesday, right? Yeah, so 4.30 p.m. on Wednesday. Still haven't written any words, but just going to have to get out that dictation tape recorder thing, which you can't say tape recorder. It's a digital recorder and just record something. So, okay, here I go. I'm going to go do it. I'll tell you tomorrow. All right. Have a great day. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.